Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 29 in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to use fill colors and grid lines within your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The advantages of using these options would be that using fill colors in Excel will help highlight certain key information that you want your target audience to notice quickly. And large strings of alphanumeric or numeric data will be easier to follow when each individual cell is boxed in with grid lines, which will also make it easier for your target audience to view on the screen or on printed materials that you provide them. So let's go into Excel and I'm going to show you how to use fill colors and grid lines. As you can see, I've gone into Excel and I've created a sample spreadsheet with some random numbers. And today I'm going to show you how to use fill colors and grid lines to help you better define your information to make it easier for your target audience to take note of. As you can see, all of my numbers are just random numbers that I've entered in. And what I want to do today is I want to highlight and color fill my largest and smallest numbers within my spreadsheet. My smallest numbers are going to be in row 5 and my largest numbers are going to be in row 10. So let's go to my print preview to see what it's going to look like before we make any changes. If I go to my print preview, you can see that all of my numbers tend to run together. And even though that you know the smallest number is 3 and the largest is 96, if I just gave this sheet of paper to you, it would take you a little while to notice these numbers. So by using fill colors and grid lines, this will definitely help you spot these numbers quickly. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to my file and what I want to do is fill color all of my smallest numbers in blue. So to do this I'm going to highlight all of the number threes that are located in row 5. To do this I'm going to highlight all of my numbers and while I'm under my home tab of my ribbon toolbar I want to go to the font area within Excel. Here you'll see your color palette that you can fill color with and you can either choose the color that's already provided which will be yellow or you can click on the drop down and choose any color that you would like and as you can see as I hover over the colors it's showing you a preview of what it's going to look like before you make your choice so if I wanted to highlight all of these in blue I would want to find a blue that would be easy on the eyes but not so dark that the print wouldn't show up properly so I'm going to go over and I'm going to use this color blue right here and once I find the color I want I'm going to click on it one time and now you can see that all of my number threes have been fill colored with blue. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my largest numbers in row 10 and I'm going to highlight all of the 96's and once I have them highlighted I'm going to go back and click on the drop down arrow for my fill colors and I'm going to choose yellow. So once I choose yellow now all of my smallest numbers are in blue and my largest numbers are in yellow and if I go to my print preview you'll see that these numbers will be a little bit easier to spot. Now the only thing that I want to show you now is how to use grid lines which will make it a little bit easier. So to do this I'm going to go back to my file and under again under the home tab of the ribbon toolbar in the font area I'm going to highlight all of my data that I want to use grid lines around. Once I have my data highlighted I can go over and click on the drop down area for my borders and if I click on the drop down you see it gives you a list of choices and one of them will say all borders. And when I click on all borders, now you can see that it put boxes around each individual cell. And if I go to my preview, you'll see that these numbers are now a lot easier to spot and a lot easier to follow from left to right. So that's how you use fill colors and grid lines within Microsoft Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located on the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.